Hey everybody, my name is Mike, my channel is MDH5169, and thanks for tuning into this video. Um, I wanted to just get a quick video out there and post it to my channel really quickly. Um, just been reading up online, kind of picking up some, some hints and some thoughts and some rumors and some confirmations uh, about some future vehicles that are coming out. So kind of excited about it, so I wanted to throw that out there. Uh, the first I want to start out with is the Corvette ZR1, uh, supposed to be a 2018 model. Uh, hopefully Chevy will be announcing the final plans for this car in August, which isn't too far away. But um, Chevy apparently has put in a patent for the LT5 motor, which is the same motor that was used, LT5 was used in the C4 uh, ZR1. So I don't think it's coincidence that the LT5 is coming back up again and talks of the new 2018 C7 ZR1 is coming up. Uh, this motor will be a 6.2 liter. It, um, with it, all right, should be forced induction, so supercharger, bigger supercharger than what's on the Z06 right now. Uh, they're doing some different things with the uh, fuel management, um, variable valve timing, that type of thing. And what I had heard, and of course this is not confirmed, but what I have heard is that this motor should be making right in the 800 horsepower range, maybe a little above that. So as an owner of a C7Z06, that's got 650 horsepower. All I can say is another 150 and an even more well-balanced chassis suspension system is just gonna be an insane ride. I cannot wait to see this car. I cannot wait to see what it does. Can't wait to hear what the track times are and what the numbers are and the specs and the performance of it really really excited so that's something to look forward to uh, next is uh, the Mustang GT 500 I've been watching a few videos and looking online at some people who are looking at the Easter eggs that, that, that Ford's throwing out as far as the GT 500 and the numbers that I'm hearing are very impressive uh, 0 to 60 in the mid two second range uh, horsepower rating I've heard as high as 870 and if that's the case that's gonna blow the demon out of the water as far as horsepower ratings and and that will be just something very impressive uh, car should be capable of reaching well over 200 miles an hour um, it's gonna be a twin turbo motor don't know yet if it's gonna be a 5 liter if it's gonna be a 5.4 5.8 or maybe even something else but that'll be very interesting to see and I think it's interesting that Ford is going more towards the twin turbo whereas Dodge and Chevy is hanging more towards the um, the, the supercharger so Again, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with that, but I'm, I'm really excited to see what the GT500 is going to be when it's actually announced and it's out there. Um, the last thing that I read this morning that is confirmed, um, according to what I read, is that Shelby is going to be turning out a Super Snake version of the F-150. This is going to become available in um, all-wheel drive or two-wheel drive, and the motor is going to be rated at 750 horsepower. I think it's very cool because we just don't have that many performance trucks out there on the market these days. You know, Chevy did a little bit with their SS back in the early 90s and 2000s. Um, Ford certainly had their Lightning, and that's been a very cool truck. Dodge um, had their uh, SRT10 with a Viper motor in it. Um, so really, this is a market that's kind of dry right now, and so I, I think it's very exciting to see um, uh, Shelby doing this. However, the price tag is going to be very high on this truck. It's going to be right at $100,000. And when you think that just for a little bit more money, you can go out and buy a new GT350 and a Ford Raptor, um, it's kind of, well, which one do you choose? But, um, you know, for the diehard Shelby fans, this is exciting news. I think it'll be very cool to see. Um, I, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. There's only going to be 150 built, so very limited production on that but again very exciting I would really like to see more performance trucks out there on the market um, with that um, I, I do appreciate you tuning into this video uh, I'm still doing videos on my phone and probably will for a little bit longer I did go ahead and buy a GoPro and a laptop and some um, software for editing video so hopefully I figure all that out in the not too distant future and can bring you guys even better videos than this um, I'm pretty much trying to do all these videos, one take, no editing, no nothing. So I'm going to try to do even better. So if you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my, my channel. I would really appreciate it. And um, if you aren't doing it already, you can follow me on Instagram, MDH5169. 
And with that, thank you very much and have a great day.